Hisense Gas Range, LP Conversion. Please read and follow the instructions in the owner's manual before you attempt to install, operate, maintain, or troubleshoot your gas range. Caution, the range is heavy. Have someone assist you with your home appliance to help prevent product damage or personal injury. Do not attempt to convert your natural gas setup to liquid propane. The LP conversion must be performed by an authorized, licensed gas supplier or installer. Your new Hisense gas range is initially set up for natural gas but can be converted to use liquid propane. Take a moment to see what tools are needed for installation. Make sure the range is not in use and the control knobs are in the off position. Carefully pull the range out of its cavity to gain access to the gas shut-off valve. Unplug the power cord from the wall power outlet. Turn the gas shut-off valve to the off position. Using two adjustable wrenches, firmly grip the gas fitting with one wrench while loosening the gas connector with the other. Remove the gas connector from the gas fitting. Carefully remove the grates from the stovetop and set them aside. Then remove the burner heads and caps and set them aside. The range is now prepared for LP conversion by a licensed installer with enough clearance to work around the unit. Liquid Propane Conversion Kit The Hisense gas range includes an LP conversion kit. They include 8 orifices for freestanding gas ranges or 9 orifices for slide-in gas ranges. Numerical markings are imprinted on the top or side of the orifices to indicate their specific placement. Take a moment to become familiar with the location of each orifice inside the burners. Note, the front left burner on the slide in gas range has two orifices. The orifice with the larger hole is positioned in the burner's center, while the smaller hole orifice is placed at the outer end. And the freestanding gas range has only one orifice for the front left burner, unlike the slide in model. Take a moment to become familiar with the location of each orifice inside the burners. Note, the front left burner on the freestanding gas range has only one orifice, unlike the slide in model. Changing the orifices on the burners. Begin by using a screwdriver with a 7mm socket to remove the natural gas orifice on each burner. Once removed, replace it with the liquid propane orifice. As mentioned before, replace the two orifices on the front left burner with their corresponding parts. Removing the oven drawer. Fully open the oven drawer and extend it to access the bottom drawer clips on each side. To remove the oven drawer, press the release clips on both sides with your thumbs while simultaneously pulling the drawer out. Once removed, set the oven drawer aside. Converting the gas regulator and changing the bake orifice. Take a moment and become familiar with the location of the gas regulator and gas tube assembly. Remove the gas regulator cap cover. Using an adjustable wrench, loosen the brass regulator cap. Rotate the brass regulator cap counterclockwise to remove it from the gas regulator. Note, both natural gas and liquid propane can be used with this brass regulator cap. It's currently oriented in the natural gas position and must be flipped over for liquid propane setup. For liquid propane conversion, remove the brass regulator cap from the red plastic holder. Flip it over and reinsert it back into the red plastic holder. Now the brass regulator cap position is configured for liquid propane. Reinstall the brass regulator cap with the internal spring centered in the cap and tighten it clockwise. Use an adjustable wrench to tighten securely in place, avoid over-tightening. Once secured, reinstall the gas regulator cap cover. You will need to loosen and remove the left nut on the gas tube using a 9 16 inch stubby wrench. The gas tube nut can also be unscrewed with the stubby wrench from the back of the range, near the bottom. Using a stubby wrench, loosen the left nut on the gas tube. Continue to loosen and remove the left nut from the gas tube. Using a drill and T20 Torx drill bit, remove the two screws that mount the injector holder from behind the range. With your hand, gently remove the gas tube and injector holder assembly. Using a 7mm socket screwdriver, remove and replace the baking orifice with the liquid propane version.
Remount the gas tube and injector holding assembly back into place. Once the gas tube is reattached to the injector holder properly, attach the left screw nut on the gas tube. Ensure the nuts are securely fastened and the assembly is mounted correctly. Using the two screws previously removed, reattach the injector holder to the back of the range as before. Using the stubby wrench, securely tighten the left screw nut on the gas tube. Reattach the gas connector to the flare side of the gas fitting. Securely tighten the gas connector by using one adjustable wrench to hold the valve steady and a second wrench to tighten the connector. Make sure the control knobs on the range are in the off position. Turn the gas shut off valve to the on position. Plug the range into its dedicated wall power outlet. Check the gas tube assembly for leaks by spraying it with soapy water. To check for leaks in this tubing section, the bake function must be operational. On the control panel, press bake and start. Small bubbles will form if a gas leak is present. Using an adjustable wrench, readjust or tighten both nuts on the gas tube assembly to eliminate any gas leak. Changing the orifices on the broiler. Fully open the oven door and extend it to access the oven door latches. Using a flathead tool, flip the oven door latches on each side to the downward position as shown. To remove the door safely, brace it with one knee against the glass while using both hands to grip the handle evenly and lift it out. Due to its weight, place the oven door on a soft surface to avoid scratches, damage, or injury. To prevent screws from falling into the vent holes on either side, place a cover at the bottom before you start. Using a T20 Torx drill bit, remove the five screws securing the broiler to the oven ceiling. Before you start, remove the oven door. Make sure to leave the front center screw for last. The front center screw temporarily secures the broiler until removal. For safe removal, support the broiler with one hand while using the other to remove the screw. Carefully detach the broiler from the orifice and gently place it on its side to avoid straining the connected igniter wires. Using a 7mm wrench, remove the orifice. Replace it with the liquid propane version. Use the 7mm wrench to secure the orifice in place. Carefully remount the broiler to the orifice holder. Using the five screws previously removed, reattach the broiler to the oven ceiling starting with the front center screw. Note, depending on your gas range model, spacers that may have fallen out during the broiler removal may need to be reinstalled. When finished, remove the cover you placed over the vent holes. Reinstalling the oven door and drawer. To reattach the door safely, brace it with one knee against the glass while using both hands to grip the handle evenly and lift it up and into the latch hole on each side. Once set, flip the oven door latches on each side to the upward position as shown. Open and close the door a few times to ensure the door is securely in place. Reinsert the bottom drawer between the clips to secure it in place. Open and close the drawer a few times to ensure the drawer is securely in place. Reinstall the burners and caps. Note. Two of the burner heads on the griddle differ from the rest. They do not have perforated holes. Rather than inserting the electrode into the burner head, the electrodes sit outside the griddle burners in an offset position. This particular layout of the burner heads for the griddle is designed for optimal performance and even heating. After converting a gas range to liquid propane, adjust the minimum flow of each top burner to compensate for the increased gas pressure. 
Begin by rotating the burner control knob setting to low. Then remove the control knob exposing the valve stem. While holding the stem valve, insert a small flathead screwdriver directly into the center of it and turn clockwise to reduce the gas flow to your preference. After adjusting, briefly fan the flame to ensure it remains lit. Reinsert the control knob. Open and close the oven door a few times to ensure the flame remains lit. Once set, turn off the burner. Reinstall the grates. Place the range back into its cavity. Level the range. Light each burner and make sure there is an even flame. Adjust the burner caps if needed. You are now ready to use your LP converted gas range.